Hello all. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can use Nuclei in order to find automated vulnerabilities inside an Android application. So let's get started. In order to use Nuclei, you can simply go to Google Chrome and you can search for something called as Nuclei templates for mobile. You can use the first one that is Optif. This particular author has a lots of great nuclei templates that are specifically designed for mobile. You can clone this particular repository. Let's clone this repository in download section by using the command git clone. Once this repository has been downloaded, let's go to mobile nuclei templates and let's go to Android. Let's shift all of these nuclear templates to keys so that we have all the nuclear templates under one hood. So what we are going to do is we are going to move all of these templates, go back and move them to keys. So all of these templates are finally inside keys. Let's use all safe application to check out all the vulnerabilities that are present inside this particular application using nuclei. Let's download its APK file. Once downloaded, in order to run this particular nuclei templates, what we have to do is we have to first run the apk tool command. So we are going to run apk tool d to decompile the application and give the application file name. Once we hit enter, apk tool is going to decompile all the application and it's going to create a folder for us that is all safe. We are going to echo this particular folder all safe and we are going to give it to nuclei by using pipe command nuclei dash t mobile nuclei templates dash keys let's hit enter and as you can see over here we are able to find a lot of automated vulnerabilities so we are able to find adb backup enabled that is present inside the android manifest.xml file nuclei found us a google api key that is present over here a Firebase database URL through which we can go and search for something called a slash dot JSON, which we have already seen in the previous videos, wherein we were able to find the flag. We can see that there are some dynamic register broadcast receivers. We can see that there's Android debug enabled. There's another Firebase database URL that is present over here, default RTV Firebase IO.com. Let's try to check if we are able to get something over here or not. You can see there's a 404 not found error page. We can see that the Android debug has been enabled that can be found inside the manifest.xml file. We can see there's a web view related vulnerability that can be found in this particular small file. So using mobile nuclei templates, we can automate a lot of things and find a lot of vulnerabilities inside a particular Android application. So that's it for this particular video. I hope you understood how you can use mobile nuclei templates to automate and find a lot of different vulnerabilities. Thank you.